EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports, you're in the game, baby! Woo! EA Sports! Don't forget it, we're coming at you! Woo! Madden NFL 2005. Welcomes you to another great NFL matchup. Good to have you with us for this battle of NFC East rivals as Washington squares off against Dallas. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. Now we always talk about how a game is won or lost in the friendship. Well, when you see what this guy can do in the defensive line, you know that statement is true. He demands so much attention that it allows the other guys in the defense to make play. And that's one of the things that makes him so great. Clinton Portis should see a lot of action to help give his offense a more balanced attack. The only way they're going to be successful against that defense is to keep them honest with the running game. It's definitely going to be a game of X's and O's and who has the better game plan. Now this is what you call excitement. Look at those guys down there. They can't even stand still. Both teams have taken the field and we're ready for tonight's kickoff. The Cowboys are set to kick it deep. Booming kick downfield. From the one yard line to the 20. The offense just about ready to call their first play of the game. It's first and ten. They line up in the I formation, passing on first down. Throws it, and he makes the grab. Gordon picks up about four yards on that reception. Second and five. With the pass, this one falls incomplete. Good job finding some room. I thought he was going to bring that one in. That was a pretty good throw, and the receiver was able to get to it. He just couldn't close the deal and bring it in for the catch. The Redskins have a very well-rounded defense, John. An ideal mixture of size and speed, and if they execute their game plan out there, look out. You're right, they do have a lot of great athletes on this team. But what impresses me is their discipline. This one could turn out to be a long day for the offensive coordinator. Now this is one heck of a play. Look out. They're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. to the right. Now that's a stiff one. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Tried to go off tackle, but the defense was waiting right there. They went the wrong way on that one. Maybe they should stick to running between the tackles because this defense has a lot of speed and they can chase down those runs to the outside. Under pressure, Rosen, he finds his man. Cole didn't have much room to do anything with that ball. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. It's third down and six to go. Dropping back, gets rid of it. 
And he lets it slip out of his grasp. No catch, the receiver had it slip out of his hands. Tupa comes into the game for the punt. Here's the punt. From the 26-yard line, the offense heads out onto the field for the first time. First and ten. They line up in the I formation. Number 16 sends a man in motion. Gave it off. Barrow gets right in there and brings him down. The defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. They do a good job of shedding blockers when they're rushing the passer. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. Jones, the lone back. Drops back with the throw. This pass is incomplete. It was something downfield. Nothing was there, though, and it's third down now. Dropping back. Throwing. Behind him, but he has it. Harrington makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Closing in, and he's taken down in the backfield by Haley. The always clever veteran gets to the quarterback. And when he gets to the quarterback, he doesn't let him get away. Second and long. The Redskins come out in a nickel package, heaving it over the middle. He made the catch. Did his job, found the single coverage, and delivers a perfect pass. So they have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Again with the carry. Can't wrap him up. Harrington with the stop at the 20-yard line. Six-yard game. And this is the seventh play of this drive. They're in field goal range. his target. He does a toe dance along the sideline to pick up an extra yard or two. They'll need to get the ball inside the 15 to convert for the first. Jones. They'll go with a play fake. With the pass. Just couldn't get that pass under control. It looked like he'd come up with it, but he just couldn't get it under control. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. Cundiff comes in to attempt a field goal, which would give them their first score of the day. And it's on its way through the uprights and good.
The kickoff team lines up. Nice kick and returnable. From the 10-yard line. So after being forced to punt the last time they had it, the offense heads back out onto the field. First and ten. Receives the handoff. Throwing. He has it. The 30. The 20. Dives and makes the tackle. Incredible throw by Ramsey. The thing is, it's the strength of his arm that's so incredible. He can throw the deep ball as well or better than anyone in the league. It's first and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Laverne is cold. He's in there for the score. lines up for the point after and it's up the point after is good are lined up for the kickoff. Good distance. From the 10-yard line. The 30. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Ball on their own 36. Jones, the deep man. Barrow pulls him down behind the line. Couldn't find any success in the middle. And the thing is, that's where it all starts, with alignment. And whoever can take control and dominate in the trenches is going to have a huge advantage over their opponent. It's second down and a long way to go. Drops back. With the pass, almost intercepted. John, I don't know how they didn't pick that one off. The quarterback can get a little excited out there at times. Maybe that's what caused him to rush the throw a bit. From the gun. With the throw, almost done. Almost a big turnover. You know, he didn't pick it off, but at least he didn't let the receiver make the catch either. Still a pretty good effort. McBriar is back to punt. Morton is back to receive this kick. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. First and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Portis fakes the handoff. Throwing. And this pass is complete. Dumps the ball out to his receiver. And that'll bring up a first down. First downs are critical in this game. And when the quarterback calls your number, you want to make sure you make the catch and don't mess something up. It's first and ten. So at the end of one, the score is 7-3. The 
teams as switch sides and we'll start the second quarter. First and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. On the carry. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Great penetration there. And that's the thing. To stop any kind of run between the tackles, you have to get some sort of penetration. You have to get into the backfield, and when you do that, you make the back change direction, making him go where he doesn't want to go. Dropping back with the throw and he lets it slip out of his grasp good push by the defensive line forcing the incomplete pass it's hard to go through your progressions when the pass rushers get into the backfield that quickly the Cowboys come out in a dime package drops back He's looking, pressure, and he's tackled behind the line. Ellis gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Smith will go back to accept this punt. Here's the punt. From the 38. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. <laughs> Using split backs. <laughs> With the carry. Barrow records the stop at the 43. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. Second and nine. Only one man in the backfield. With the pass, almost picked off. He makes a great play by breaking the pass. That one looked like it slipped out of his hand a little bit while he was winding up to throw it. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. Gets the pass off, and he hits his target. Smith can't find a way to advance it to the first down marker. Yeah. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. From the 16-yard line, and he can't make anything happen on that one, John, as he tackle him immediately. That's because the guys on the outside were able to get downfield quickly. So they have first and ten here. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Portis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. With the throw, he hits his receiver, and he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. First and ten. He's there to make yet another outstanding defensive play. He made a name for himself with plays like that. He's one of those guys that every defensive coordinator would love to have on his team. He's smart, he plays with good intensity, and he's a heck of a leader on and off the field. Borden. Coakley makes the stop at the 41. 
Take a look at this. He gets himself into position, keeps his legs under him, and then boom, he just unloads. Now that's a depleter. Cartwright, the motion man. Crosses it right. Newman got very good penetration there. Newman came up and shut down the run. Yeah, they tried to get around the end. He came up from his corner position and boom, he makes a heck of a tackle. Smith, back to return. Here's the punt. From the 21-yard line, he picks up a few yards on the return. Two-minute warning coming up. Passing on first down, throws it. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. They choose a screen pass and it doesn't get them enough for a first. You know, when you don't get a good pass rush, sometimes a screen pass is not the best play. Two minutes to go. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Spring created problems in the backfield on that one. He gets credited with the tackle as first of the game. If you're the defense, you don't want to get flagged for interference and let them keep this drive going. They've done a good job the last two plays, so let's see if they can do it again. Number 16 scans the defense from the gun. Pump faking, throwing, and it's complete. Brian couldn't find a way to get past the marker. They can't keep it going, and more than likely, we'll see the punter. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. They'd like to add a few more points to this lead, but we'll need to do a good job with clock management. It's first and ten. Dropping back. Throws it over the middle. And he makes the grab. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. He was unable to bring that one in. That's the type of pass that you got to be able to hang on to. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles by going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. Only one man in the backfield. Ramsey sends a man in motion. Drops back. In the throw. The pass falls incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. The defense can't suffer a letdown because they've done a great job the last two plays to force this situation. One more great play but should get him the ball back with some time to work with. The Cowboys come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. This pass is incomplete. There's an injury, and Jill will have the answers for us soon. Time for a punt here as it's now fourth down. Right. 
Tupa will come into this game to punt. Smith into return. Here's the punt. Fair catch. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. So after the fumble now, it's first and ten. Number 16, with split backs. Under pressure, passing right. And he makes the grab. He was on the receiving end of that bullet. Soft hands like that are hard to find. This guy looks like he's a keeper. And it looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. Throws it. Perfect throw. Looks like he's just shaken up, and we'll get the full report from Jill very shortly. We might see a quick pass here on first down. It's first and ten. Carter using split backs. Going to the air on first down. With the throw. And it's caught. Smooth with the stop at the 22-yard line. Even though they're in field goal range, they need to keep a fast pace if they hope to finish this drive in the end zone. So they have first and ten here. Only one man back. Johnson comes in motion. He'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Perfect pass. Taylor brings him down at the one. Drops back. Surveying the field. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Mort, he's back to the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. is back and ready to put this one in the air. He kicks it off. From the four-yard line to the 20. Following the punt on their last drive, the offense now makes its way back out onto the field. And here's where efficiency is the key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. Out of the gun. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Passing on first down. With the throw, loses one tackler. Williams makes the stop at the 45-yard line. Dropping back to pass on first down. He goes to the left side. He let that one loose, but overthrows his receiver. Looks a little jumpy back there. One thing you never want to do is look at the rush. You want to keep your eyes downfield. If you start looking at the rush, then you can never be effective. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent him from getting into field goal range. Dropping back, throwing. Davison with the start at the 45, directing traffic. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Going into halftime. The score is 10 7.
take a look at our halftime stats. Both teams have lined up and we're set for the second half kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. Dallas heads back out offensively, leading by three. So they have first and ten here. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. He was met right at the line, might have even lost a little. That was a case of the defense getting under the pads of the offensive line. Usually the team that gets the best leverage is going to control the line of scrimmage. When you run it into the middle, you have to have some push or movement up front. If you can't get that movement, it makes things very difficult for your running back. Looking for an option with the pass. Drops the interception. Harrington was working in the middle and almost had the interception. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Number 16 with a man in motion. Closing in. Throws it. Bauman stops him at the 27. The defense did a great job on that series, pushing them backward. Here's the kick. Andy waves for the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. Only one man in the backfield. Hand it off. Sharp stiff on. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare. And it really pays off when you make stops like that. It's second down and ten to go. Nickelback in this time. Gets the pass off. And he hits his target. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they have first and ten here. Pass play here on first down. Passing to the left. He finds his man. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old fashioned drop back and pass. And it's working. It's first and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. He gets the carry. Copley pulls him down at the 20-yard line. They went back to the run on that play. That just goes to show you that the coach trusts the guy to hang on to the ball. They'll need to get the ball inside the 15 to convert for the first. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Gets rid of it. The pass ball's incomplete. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. Sixth play of this drive. Stay home. Stay home. The backs are lined up in an eye. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He's got it. The camp is in there with a touchdown.
kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. The Skins have the lead here in the third quarter. The Redskins are ready to kick this one off. Booming kick downfield. The defense did a great job on the last series, forcing the offense to go three and out. First and ten. They're having no success running on first down. That's why they're losing. you got to be able to get yards on first down. Going to the left. Smooth. Takes him down at the 24. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and six coming up here. They line up in the I formation. They give it to the halfback. Number 30 with the tackle at the 28. Trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. It's third down, two to go. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Flings it to the outside. Short pass to the fullback. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. So they have first and ten here. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two-yard per carry average. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. First and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two yards isn't very good. With the adjustment, he has it. Number 16 has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. Sixth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Only one man in the backfield. No pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Has room. Can't bring him down. Touchdown, Dallas. He tossed the ball to the receiver for the touchdown. He outplayed the defender for the ball on that play. The guy with the best position usually will come up with it. comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and he kicks on the extra point. The Cowboys leading in the game, but not by much. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. The Cowboys are set to kick it deep. Nice kick and returnable. From the eight. To the 20. 
They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. So they have first and ten here. Passing on first down. Slings it to the outside. He hits his receiver. Cartwright made a terrific catch. Practice of a play again and again makes it look easy when they run it in game situations. Second and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. A little lob doesn't find its intended target. The Cowboys come out in a dime package. Surveying the field. Throws on the move. On the money. Dives and brings him down at the 35-yard line. He doesn't appear to lose anything on the ball when he throws on the run. He may actually be better when he moves like that. He's one of those guys who's good at creating. He's good at moving around back there. And then a lot of time, he'll give his receiver an extra beat that he needs to get open. Rasby in motion. Gets the toss to the right. The 40. Woodson pulls him down at the 47. Hornets covered some good ground there. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their blocks and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. First and 10. It's been a close game for three quarters with only a field goal differential as we head to the fourth quarter with the score. Dallas, 17. Washington, 14. The Skins start off the fourth quarter with the ball down by a field goal. So they have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Pass play here on first down. Pressure coming. Throws it over the middle. And he makes the grab. Copley with the stop at the 41 yard line. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. First and 10. They, they, they line up in the I formation. Pressure. Ooh, what a hit on the quarterback. Veteran linebacker bursts through and gets the sack. He's always had the uncanny ability to have success in the play, especially when the other team least expects it. Following the sack, it's second and long. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Rowing. On the money. The 10. Five. Thrash is in there for the touchdown. They'll get set for the extra point. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. The Redskins leading in the game, but not by much. Skins are lined up for the kickoff. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the 10-yard line. 
The defense gave up a touchdown on the last series. First and ten. The Redskins come out of the nickel package. Barrow records the tackle at the 26-yard line. Jones couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. He's looking. Throws it. And the catch is made. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. It's first and ten. The back wind up in an eye. In the backfield for a short loss. Jones couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. They come out of the nickel to carry it with the pass on the money. And he ducks out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Johnson pulls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. First and ten. The Redskins come out in a nickel package. Hand off on the draw. Barrow with the stop at the 48. Short gain on that burst through the middle, maybe half a yard. I don't think I'd call that run a burst. That was more of a limp up the middle. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Ball at midfield. Jones is the deep back. Gets rid of it. The 40. Smoot is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 36. Number 16 doing an excellent job on this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. First and 10. Jones lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Goes over the middle. Barrow makes the stop at the 22-yard line. Number 16 with a hot hand on this drive. And what he's doing is sitting back there in the pocket, seeing everything, making great decisions, and getting the ball to the right guy. He's playing very well right now. Jones, the lone back, handed off to the back. The back breaking free. He's inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. That's the long run they've been waiting for him to break. And it goes for the touchdown. He made some nice moves. Put his foot on the gas and headed right for the goal line. Pundit comes in for the extra point. And it's up. And he checks on the extra point. The Cowboys are holding on to a slim lead. That was a very good drive, John. Good play call. You got to love this as an offensive coordinator. You're calling plays to get your team into the end zone. The Cowboys are ready to kick this one off. Should be a return here. From the five. To the 20. The 30. Defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. Almost at the two-minute mark now. They'll go from the I formation. Throws on the run. Just couldn't get that pass under control. Ransom 
appeared to feel the pressure there. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Two-minute warning coming up. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Under pressure, and he's tackled behind the line. Ellis did a great job breaking through, getting there for the set. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. And he just made it look simple. Almost at the two-minute mark now. The Cowboys come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Comes up with it. Williams brings him down at the 39. Gardner catches a floater for the first down. And it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes that are sure first down. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Cantz goes in motion. The ground dropped behind the line for a loss of a couple. With the throw, and he makes no, he can't hold it in. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, but it might be a little too late. Sixth play of this drive. Monday. The Cowboys come out in a dime package. Drops back. Closing in with the pass. And he dropped it. And this one will fall in the turf incomplete. This is one of those guys who's working really hard to improve himself. Every now and then he'll let one bounce off his hands like that. But most of the time you can rely on him to make the catch when you really need it. Seventh play of this drive. They're in a tough spot here, but they have to go for it. With the throw, and it's caught. Coakley takes him down at the 29-yard line. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed, and it's worse because now the other team has the ball. This one is just about in the books, so they have first and ten here. Come on, let's go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Jones. Big pop that time. Boom. Now that is big time football. He was fortunate to get anything on that ball. And that's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. Receives the handle. Solid hit. Just crunched it. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Third down and long coming up here. The Redskins come out in a nickel package. Hand it off to the back. Harris records the tackle at the 35. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. So they'll get ready to punt and leave it to their defense to finish the game and get them the win. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Here's the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. They got some time, but they need to get out of bounds to get to about the 35 to give their kicker a chance. First and 10. Strong left, strong left. Set, 
pass play here on first down. Rowing. Win is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 27. Hill stopped the clock with a spike. They'll be looking to convert here on third down. One thing they can't afford to do here is take a sack. So they might want to keep it a back to block for maximum protection. From the gun. With the throw. And it's complete. The 40. William makes the play at the 50-yard line. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. Spike stops the clock. I'm expecting them to throw here on second down. They only need to get in the field goal range so they don't need to hit a home run. Whatever they do, though, it's got to be quick. Dallas comes out with seven in the secondary. Rowing. Incomplete. The safety makes a nice play getting to the ball and chipping it away. And he made the play when really the receiver should have had it. Moving to meet the ball is something that some receivers don't do well. Sixth play of this drive. Down! Down! Set! Keep it in front! Keep it in front! Keep it in front! Throws it. He hits his receiver. Win makes the tackle at the 42 yard line. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Oh, no, he caught it. They'll down it. At the 33. The Redskins call a timeout. They have none left. It comes down to this. Their kicker will determine the outcome of the game. Big kick here to tie it up. Dallas calls a timeout. They have two timeouts left. And it's on its way. It's good. And we're going to overtime. Smith gets set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. He got all of that one. Loses one tackle. Runs through the tackle. Still all tied up. So we're going to overtime. The Redskins are set to kick it deep. And he got all of that one. A great kick. From the two. To the 20. The Cowboys will start this drive from the 21. It's first and 10. The skins come out in a nickel package. He'll pass on first down. Pressure. Gets rid of it. The pass falls incomplete. And he throws incomplete because he gets major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. Huh, huh, huh. 
Looking upfield with the hurdle. The 30, the 40. At the 40, the 30. Slips the tackle. The 10, and he showboats his way toward the end zone. This one is over. He gets a great block right here. He'll bring him for the touchdown. I'll tell you, he takes the defender right out of his shoes that time. This one up, and the final score is Dallas 30, Washington 24. On behalf of EA Sports, John Madden and Jill Arrington, this is Al Michaels saying goodbye. Jones was outstanding tonight and wins the Horse Trailer Player of the Game Award.